In 2009, a call was put out to artists across Canada by Speed Skating Canada to create paintings depicting the sport of speed skating to complement the events put on at the new Richmond Olympic Speed Skating Oval during the 2010 Winter Olympics. The Richmond Artists Guild Life Drawing Group took advantage of this opportunity and 13 artists signed up to participate in the competition. By mid-October, arrangements had been made for the artists to visit the newly opened skating oval over several days to sketch and photograph speed skaters during practice runs and pre-Olympic events as references for painting in the studio. Proposal we made to the space, speed skating Canada from the life drawing group was that uh, we come up with some uh, preliminary sketches of the uh, speed skaters in action, and we have five days to uh, do this. And today is the first day. We have four more days on weekends, and these weekend ones are competitions rather than training session as uh, it, uh, as it's occurring today. After the uh, preliminary sketches, each individual artist will uh, do their own thing. Most of them will, will work on acrylics or oils on canvases. We have a uh, little more than a month to, to gather all these uh, finished paintings. and They'll be gathered at the uh, art center and uh, the juror will be, juror or jurors, uh, will be chosen by the Speed Skating Canada and uh, will make a selection for mounting a show. The, the process is an exciting one for all of us. In life drawing sessions, the model is asked to stay very still for as long as needed to make a sketch. Trying to capture a speed skater traveling at speeds up to 14 meters per second is very difficult. Hard to do, huh? Yeah, it's hard to do. Can't do it. <laughs> you gonna get a painting out of this? Well, we might try an abstract. How's it going, Marvin? It's going. <laughs> Not bad. Is it hard or easy? It is challenging. You just got to get the same, try to get the same thing twice as it come around. You can't get it all in one shot. They're really hard to catch. It goes so fast. How's it going? No, oh, well. <laughs> Some found it easier. Is it hard or easy? Uh, it's easy if you don't think. <laughs> you know, if you just keep your pencil moving and don't try to establish how to go. <laughs> it's sort of, you capture more of the movement if you don't um, try to. And some found a better way. Larry is using the frozen image on his digital camera's LCD yeah. screen to sketch from. Just trying to get the action going. Photography was very popular. A good still picture can make a great reference when painting in the studio. If your camera doesn't break down.
getting some good sketches? I'm trying my best. <laughs> Many of the artists involved submitted art into the competition. We visited four of those artists during the creation of their paintings. I'm, I'm working on four paintings, and uh, I've come up with a theme for the paintings, which I wasn't expecting when I first went into this project. Uh, you know, figure work is my first love in painting. And, um, Going out to the skating arena when we saw these skaters for the first time was really quite a revelation. First of all, the speed at which they skate was outstanding. And then the, uh, I was struck with the, first of all, the, 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 the power of these skaters and then the building itself and the combination of those two things when I got back home and started to look at the pictures I'd taken because uh, my sketches sure didn't tell me a whole lot. But um, the lighting in that arena is so star-like. I, I took one picture, I don't know if this will show up because I've already got spray paint on it, but you take a look at that arena from the inside with the upper lighting and then the reflection coming into the ice. It's quite spectacular. And this is the effect that I want to achieve on these paintings. My re reference uh, photo I took, and I do a do a sketch here, a, qu a quick sketch, and I I even did a color thing on my photo. I don't do that all the time, but this one I did, and you can see it. I <clears throat> I've made it into uh, thirds both ways. So when I draw it on here, I, I, I do the same thing on here. And then I got an idea where I, I just follow my, um, usually I just follow my sketch. When I look at this photo, I don't know if they're male or female, the, the skaters here. Uh, my wife says they're, they're males, or they're females. I guess I 